Well, good morning, and I would say welcome to my studio, but we're not in my studio this morning. I'm at Whiteville Golf Club, uh, so I'm here painting uh, as part of our longest day of golf uh, Canadian Cancer Society fundraiser. So I'm, it's, uh, it's not quite 8 o'clock. I've been here since about 7.30 getting set up, and I'm going to start this painting and finish it before the day's over, and this painting is going to be going into our raffle draw to help uh, raise funds for the Canadian Cancer Society. So Brooke Cormier is here with me as well. She's just on the other side of the camera setting up her stuff. And uh, Wendy Birmingham is gonna be joining us uh, a little bit later and she's gonna be doing a painting as well. And all three of these paintings are gonna be going uh, into the raffle for our uh, cancer fundraiser. So stick around and uh, by the end of the day, this piece will be done. Well, it seems to be coming along pretty good now. You can hear Wendy and Brooke in the background <laughs> talking to I'll show you what they're doing in a minute. So it's about 12.30. Um, I'm really happy that I wanted to be on the reflections by noon, and I am. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around now. And, uh, <laughs> Okay, no, that's okay. So here's Wendy. She's Hi. working on a beautiful piece that's uh, <laughs> from the eighth pole, a tree where we don't want to be off the tee. Um, and now there's Brooke. Brooke. We all know Brooke. So Brooke is actually doing a painting of a deer from the on the patio looking out over the course. So it's uh, about 12.30, so we've been at it probably about four, a little over four hours now, and probably another four or five hours to go. Okay, so it's probably now uh, almost 10 hours later, and this piece is just finished, I'm just cleaning up. Uh, you can hear all the hustle and bustle going on here. Um, getting ready for dinner and a bit of a party. And I'm going to turn the camera around and you can see Wendy's finished painting. There's Wendy. And Brooke is still working on her piece. Slowly but surely. The triple bogey beer. <laughs> After a couple well-deserved beers out on the patio, I came down to the green with the rest of the membership to watch our intrepid golfers as they finished their 10th round of golf, all played in one day. We had a piper there to pipe them in. And this was an incredible feat considering it was over 30 degrees Celsius out there today. This is always a really special day at Whitefell. Uh, it's been many, many years of uh, working together to raise <laughs> funds uh, for the Canadian Cancer Society to help fight cancer. And at this point, we already had raised $19,000 for the Canadian Cancer Society. And we still have the raffle tickets for the paintings and the silent auction later that night, as well as other fundraisers during the week. So hopefully we'll hit our target of $30,000 for this year. Well, that was a great day. Uh, a little bit exhausting, actually very exhausting. I think I mentioned that I thought I'm usually not much good the next day, and that was in fact the case. So this is now Sunday morning. Happy Father's Day to all of you out there. Uh, belatedly, you'll be hearing this on Monday. Uh, but yeah, on Saturday after the longest day of golf, I basically uh, slept in very late and kind of sat around in the chair and binge watched on Game of Thrones with my boys. Uh, and today I'm finally getting back in the studio. I'm gonna get to work on this piece. But it was just a fabulous day um, at Whiteville Golf Club. Um, the vibe there was really incredible. It was so nice too this year with uh, Wendy and Brooke there painting with me. This is my fourth year of doing this here. I've done it about six years for the Toronto Police uh, to kick off their United Way campaign. Um, but it's always been by myself and it was just so much nicer being there with a couple other artists. Um, but I thought I would take this opportunity too to just talk about um, using your art for fundraising um, for charities because I know if you're like me if you paint it all you get hit up all the time with people asking you for donations and it, and it is it is overwhelming at times and people just hit you up out of the blue no hi hello how are you just often even form letters asking you to donate your work 
uh, to their charity fundraiser. And I mean, I've donated well, probably $50,000 worth, more than that actually, probably close to $100,000 worth of work over the years um, for various charities. And the one thing that I found is that the type of event um, that I just did on Friday is really where you get the most bang for your buck in terms of, um, you know, it feels so much better when you're actually there creating a painting for the charity, but it also puts your face to the artwork. Often, you know, you, ju you just get asked uh, from various organizations to donate a painting. The painting goes into their silent auction um, and it raises a little bit of money. And there's always the, you know, saying, oh, you're going to get publicity out of this. But you really don't. If you just donate a print or a small piece to a charity, um, that's great. But do so knowing you're not very likely going to get any publicity or any promotional stuff out of it. So if you're just doing it because you want to donate, that's great. Um, but I know a lot of these charities really play it up that, oh, you're going to get the ability to kind of show your work and all that. But it, it really um, doesn't usually, it's never for me manifested itself in anything other than just feeling good that you've donated. But on the other hand, doing an event like this where you're there all day long and you're painting and people are coming up and interacting with you, that has the added benefit of actually promoting you and promoting your artwork. And it also makes it more special, I think, for the people involved that rather than just, you know, taking a piece that you haven't sold uh, and donating it to the charity, when you donate your time, I think that has a much bigger impact on people that you're taking an entire day and doing something like what we did, where you turn it into a marathon uh, painting session uh, to do for me, that's normally that piece that I did would normally be a three or four day painting. Um, but the fact that people have the ability to come in all throughout the day and kind of watch the piece progress, it just take, it just makes it that much more special um, than just donating a piece that shows up on the prize table. Uh, more special for everyone there, but also more special for the artists. I actually really, really look forward uh, to these events where I'm there painting all day. And it just feels good too, because you know you're doing it for a really good cause. So I would just encourage any of you out there who are using your art um, to help raise funds for charity to consider um, doing what we did in terms of actually showing up at the event, setting up your stuff and creating a painting there. Uh, it usually makes it much more special for the charity, makes it more special for the artist. And you, this is one of those times where you actually do get the added benefit of promoting yourself and your work. So it's an everybody wins situation. So I'm going to get back to work on this piece um, this afternoon and that will be on Tuesday's video. We'll see how far I've got there. Just to let you know though, most of these dark paintings are going to be light birches. So that's it for now. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I welcome your comments and questions and please share it with people you think would also appreciate it. My name is Tim Packer and I thank you for your time.